These are the 15 craziest buzzer beaters in NBA history. And at number 15, we're starting off with a full court shot from Devontae Graham. So with one second left and no timeouts, you'd figure the game would go to overtime. But Devontae Graham had other plans. Did he call bank though? Now that was a crazy shot, but our next buzzer beater is just as crazy. But before we show that, remember to drop a like and subscribe to Triple Double. Okay, so let's get into it. So we all know Luka Doncic, right? Well, in just a few years of his NBA career, he's had many buzzer beaters and game winners. Starting off with his game winner against the Grizzlies, where he literally pulled off a floater from the three-point line. Dallas out of timeouts. Memphis by two, 1.8 remaining. Got to get it in. Here's Luka. Gets it away. It's good. stumbling he somehow got it to go or even a couple years ago during the bubble where he hit a step back three in the clippers face to win the game and tie up the series back to Doncic. Doncic pulls up three pointer bang bang it's good Doncic wins the game at the buzzer but his best one was against the boston celtics in a 104 104 game at home everyone in dallas were on their feet Lucas sized up his defender, dribbled to his spot, stepped back, ball game. Josh Richardson, left side of the floor. Lucas three is a rebound. And to Boston again. Four he almost gave Mark Cuban a heart attack. Now that was a pretty sick buzzer beater. But if you were to tell that to DeMar DeRozan, that's another day at the office for him. DeRozan to win it. Go! Not only did DeMar DeRozan become the first player to make back-to-back -back game winners on back-to-back -back days, but he also became the first to do so in two different years. But he's not the only player that had a great start to the year. Another player that started off 2022 strong was RJ Barrett, hitting this insane game winner at Madison Square Garden over the Boston Celtics. A lot of history there. Finds Barrett, get a shot up, this is for the win! Now a lot of players on this list are guards, but we gotta show love to the big fellas too. Steven Adams has a pretty impressive resume when it comes to buzzer beaters. Like the time at Oklahoma City when he just casually threw up a one-handed half-court shot to beat the buzzer. Now no fouls, it'll be Steven Adams. They give Steven Adams some and wow! Guy. The one-hander from half-court. Wow! I was gonna say, that's Steven the second Adams. percentage buster that they've given him. And topped it off with a pretty cool dance. But even when he's not shooting, he's still making plays. Take for example his absolute dime to John Morant to make one of the best buzzer beater plays ever. The bench still stands. Adams going long. Morant! Oh, he hit it! He hit it! He hit it! John Morant gets it! But Steven Adams isn't new to throwing bullets. Dennis Schroeder has seen it firsthand. Oh. Adams launches it to shoot a shooter, catches, and scores! To tie it at 122! Does it count? Man, maybe Adams should play in the NFL for a season. Now that was cool, but this game winner was even more impressive. I'm talking about Dwayne Wade in his farewell tour season. Up against the elite Golden State Warriors, Wade was fighting for his life to get a shot off. And he got just enough time left to throw up a shot and add another game winner to his resume. Shoots. No, he couldn't get it off. Now fires it up. Bank it in! It counts! It counts! The Heat win the game! Dwayne Wade won it! That's a pretty good way to end off a career. And Wade isn't the only person to hit a crazy game winner against the Warriors. A few years before that, his iconic duo in Miami, LeBron James, did the same thing. Now some three. Make somebody else beat you. Three on the way. He got it! Nothing new for King James, one of the clutchest players ever. But someone even clutcher is Damian Lillard. Being clutch has always been in his DNA. Three wins the series. It's Lillard, he got the shot off! Lillard got it! Good! And the Blazers win the series! And he decided to repeat history five years later against the OKC Thunder, pulling up from the four-point line in Paul George's face. Long range three, and it's good! 
But that wasn't even the craziest game winner of that year because Kawhi Leonard did something even better and created one of the most iconic photos in NBA history. It's off to Leonard, defended by Simmons. Is this the dagger? That's gonna be one of the few times you'll ever catch Kawhi show emotion. <laughs> the playoffs really have created iconic NBA moments. Michael Jordan's shot against the Jazz will forever be cemented in NBA history. Jordan a drive. I mean, was it clean or a shove? I don't know, and I don't care, because it was just cold-blooded. But someone even more cold-blooded is Tracy McGrady, who dropped 13 points in 35 seconds, and then topped it off with a game winner. Popovich obviously upset with Manu. Here's McGrady for three! God, Bowen is all over. McGrady, foul is picked up. Yes. A potential four-point play. Houston, out remaining, finally gets it in to McGrady. McGrady over Bowen for three. Oh, yes! Come out to Manny. McGrady for the win. Yes! Oh, 1.7 to go. That's just proof that you should never give up and play until the buzzer hits zero. Now, that was really cool, but one of the most legendary game winners came from Russell Westbrook. He's out of timeout. Sticks it back to Russ. Deep shot. It just so happened he broke the triple double record that night too. You tie him up. I'm gonna beat it up in here. Westbrook looking inside. Sets up Potter to score. Russell Westbrook is one assist away from NBA history. Russell for three. Right down Main Street. Russell kicks it to the corner. And he's got it. Russell Westbrook has broken the single season record established more than a half century ago. I don't think it can get any better than that. But like T-Mac proved earlier, the game isn't over until it's over. Whether there's one minute left or even 0.1 seconds left. And 0.1 seconds is all David Lee needed to get the perfect alley-oop tip in to get the win for the New York Knicks. That has to be a tip as they throw it at the basket. Yeah. I mean, that was just crazy. And with that being said, those are the craziest buzzer beaters in NBA history. Comment down below which one was your favorite, and remember to drop a like and subscribe to Triple Double for more videos.